University of Florida is a land-grant institution, so our research is intended to benefit the state of Florida. And we have a lot of amazing historical and cultural resources throughout the state, particularly in St. Augustine. And the students learn in the classroom, but in an abstract way. So this allows them to really apply their knowledge and uh, to get a sort of first-hand understanding of how we do disaster recovery. We're not monetary driven, we're cause driven, and I think students tend to be very passionate and they're willing to volunteer and take their time away from Gainesville and classes to be out here uh, helping St. Augustine recover. This is the first assignment that I've had where I've been out on the site, talking to people, talking to Floridians. So besides the experience on how disaster management affects heritage, knowing about Florida and Florida's heritage, this has been a great opportunity for me. It's a beautiful day, the houses are standing, but there's a lot of damage and potentially harmful bacteria and other things inside the buildings. The information that we're gathering is provided to FEMA to make determinations about assistance from the federal government. It's being used by the city planning office to be able to track the most damage of the historic properties and it's gonna help them prioritize where they need to put their efforts. Preservation is about people, not about buildings. Uh, historic buildings aren't anything without the people who care for them. For the students to have the opportunity to interact with residents and then really get that sense of attachment to their historic property, I think it's extremely valuable. How the structure got damaged, I mean, you can learn that with the book, but when you come here and you talk to people and then you get to know their problems and you see how each community will have a different way of dealing with this, so I thought it was a very great opportunity to help and work with the community to sort of come up with a strategic plan. There are critical decisions that are being made that are not reversible. And understanding the importance of protecting our historic resources, I mean, they are even a financial commodity, especially a city like St. Augustine, which is so historic.